Praise God. Um, I'm here to share um, a message, very important message. Is every word of God is important. So um, the Lord has been good. Is always good. In, uh, in August, the Lord did show to us three angels with the bowls of judgment in August 2024, ready to Oh, pouring the balls upon the earth. In, in that message that the, the Lord did show to us, it was it was um, that we should we should stay strong, believing in God. Keep looking upon God. The protection of the Lord was covering was with His people, while people were in the darkness all around screaming and suffering in what looked or sound like something was raining upon them judgment was raining upon them the lord was shelter To those who believe in his word that what God showed us he did show to us in August 2024 the three angels the three first angels from the seven is written in Revelation 16, we're pouring their balls upon the earth. So, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, the Lord showed to us again the heavens opened and four angels were ready to pour their balls upon the earth. As Revelation 16 says, there were seven angels according to what the Lord did show to us. The first three angels did pour their balls upon the earth. At least around the time the Lord showed to us in August. And the last four angels started pouring their balls upon the earth three weeks ago. The word of God is truth. And sometimes we don't really understand what the Lord says. Um, but by faith and by obedience, 
I'm even sorry to God for even delaying me sharing this message. But the time has come and I wanted to share so that whoever has ears may listen. And uh, we've seen plagues upon the earth, we've seen suffering, we've seen a lot of things going on on the earth right now. And the, the visions of God, or the, the book of Revelation, is a book of, I'll say parables. So it's some, there are symbols that you need the Holy Spirit to understand. And when it comes to balls, the balls of the seven angels, I believe in my heart that no matter what anybody tells me, according to what the Lord has shown to us, is what is happening right now. And in Revelation 16, the Bible says that um, one of the angels will pour the ball upon the river Ephrates, and the river will dry out to make way for the kings of the east for the great battle of Armageddon. Uh, is your Armageddon? Oh. Armageddon and Gog and Magog war is kind of similar. But the river has been. Uh, there, there, there is. It it's can be even looked up on Google. You can see the river Frates drying up. And. That is something to have in mind that that prophecy, the promise of the Lord is has come to pass. We've seen these mpox viruses across Africa and across the world, how people are getting these plagues and others the Lord taught us the COVID vaccine was and is the mark of the beast no matter what anybody else says doesn't change that and The Lord told us that this world that is going on in Israel is the last world. Meaning, it is the world that was prophesied. It is the Gog and Magog world. And Israel is fighting seven front war meaning of seven in the bible is fulfillment completion as we see in revelation there are seven seals seven angels seven praise be the name of the lord spiritual the lord seven eyes praise be the lamb of the lamb seven trump angels with trumpets seven uh, angels with with balls it has big meaning so israel is fight is surrounded is fighting his bowlers hamas iraqi militias syria militias it's fighting um 
terrorists in West Bank, Judea and, uh, and Samaria. He's fighting Yemenis, Houthis, and he's fighting Iranians. And all those actually nations that hate Israel and hate God. So it is the Gog and Magog. Even Russians are supporting Iranians and Hezbollahs. And even the, the West, US and Europe is not really helping. And they're so much involved as the, the beast, the first and the second beast of Revelation, the northern and southern king in Daniel, and the iron and the clay their 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 um accords their pacts between western nations and arabic nations is even you can see uh, those who are called moderate saudis and and uae and all the kuwait and and um jordans and all those who are called moderate muslims it's, prophet, it's prophesied in Ezekiel 38, 39. And that's the word that the Lord will come and fight for Israel. That's the word that is going on right now. And because the Lord is coming even before to take his church, imagine how the time is fast gone. And we should be ready. Because the church will go and come back with the Lord to help Israel. So that is the message I have. Let God give you light of the Holy Spirit. Open your mind and heart. Your spirit so you can understand and believe and get ready. I'm just a man, I'm just human. I may have my um, weaknesses but the word of God endures forever. As the Lord taught us in Revelation, may the Spirit say, come. May the bride say, come. May those who listen come and get the water of life freely. Yes, I'm coming quickly, says the Lord. Yes, come Lord Jesus. May the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you all, with us all. Jesus' name, amen.